a way to make your road trips more enriching. Hi Sharks, my name's Woody Sears and I'm a travel fanatic from Santa Barbara, California. Today, I'm here seeking $1 million in exchange for 5% equity in my company, Ooh, Ontio. Wow. wow. When my family and I take road trips, we find ourselves asking a lot of questions about the places around us. We like to know how a small town came to be, what people do there for a living, and the names of the mountains and places we drive by. Wouldn't it be great if we had a personal tour guide who could share these stories? Introducing Atio. Atio is a mobile audio entertainment app for travel that tells stories about the places, landmarks, and cities that we drive by. It uses geolocation technology to trigger these stories by your location automatically. Simply press play and stories begin based on where you are. Stories like these. Local residents passed an ordinance prohibiting the horseless carriage, which was startling and upsetting their horses. It was a stop on the Underground Railroad, as many homes here and in nearby Springdale were as well. Violent eruptions caused the mouth of the volcano to collapse, forming a nearly symmetrical 4,000-foot-deep caldera. We have over 9,000 stories spanning the U.S., each of which is told by professional narrators. We have famous voices like Kevin Costner, Phil Jackson, and John Lithgow. Atio gives us a chance to be entertained while at the same time taking a break from screens and being more engaged with our surroundings and each other. So Sharks, who wants to hit the road with Atio and help tell our next story? Very cool. Walk me through an example. Yeah. I buy the product. So there's an Atio app, right? There's an Atio app. You so I download, download it from the, the app. app Store. It's free to download. It comes with five free stories and you enable location and notification preferences. Mm. As then, as soon as you come into range of a story that you haven't heard, it will automatically begin Got to play. It. If you used up your five free stories, then we offer you unlimited streaming for $36 a year. How long are your stories? They're three to four minutes on average, and some go up as much as 20 minutes. If I bought the app and I'm in the middle of nowhere and I have no Wi-Fi access, I assume I don't hear stories. And the other side of that, if I'm in New York City driving down Madison Avenue, I would think I would have a story every three seconds. Yeah, the, the stories are evenly distributed throughout the country, interstates, highways, byways, scenic roads. So you are gonna have more in the urban centers, but if you go really remote, you're gonna be offline, out of Wi-Fi, out of cellular, and you can download those stories to your device and they'll still be triggered by the GPS radio. So oh, you're gonna hear the stories while That's you're in the correct. National Park or you, another what's your, more rural what's your, area. What's your background? Yeah, How did you... I do have background. I've spent the last 19 years in software and mobile. Um, the last company that I started was called iStoryTime. We made the first library of narrated storybooks for the iPhone. We ended up producing over 200 apps and 14 million downloads and then got acquired. Wow, I mean, very I gotta, interesting. I gotta ask because it's very rare in Shark Tank where a guy walks in and says one million for 5%. I mean, I just have to understand <laughs> why you would do that. We have the number one broadcast radio network and largest podcast publisher who will also be coming in as investors and strategic partners. This valuation is actually a discount to what they'll be paying. Please tell me you have sales. We have sales. We've done over 700,000 this year, 210,000 this last year, and we're on a $2 million annual run rate. Well, that's respectable. How much so money have you guys raised? So far. We've raised three and a half million so far. We have the largest auto club in the nation on our cap table. AAA? AAA, as well as the, the biggest retailer of RVs in the country. Yeah, but I'm just curious, why do you need a shark? We want people who, who feel strongly about our mission and can help get the word out there. This is a new product category, so a lot of people are unfamiliar with it. Woody, how many subscribers do you have? We have 15,000 paid members. 210,000 registered accounts, and over half a million downloads. 
And what percentage have renewed? We've, from the earliest subscribers, they're renewing at 70%. On average, it's about 50%. It's a 50% attrition rate? 50%, which is average for consumer subscription services. Wow, I didn't know that. Woody, let, let me just get things started. I'm just not a fan. I'm sorry. I think Google Maps, everything about it obviously is GPS triggered. It's not a major stretch for them to add audio. So for those reasons, I'm out. Okay. Thanks, Mark. You're right. I keep measuring the words 15,000 su subscribers, 15,000 against, I'd like $1 million. It just sounds to me like it's crazy. I'm out. Thanks, Barbara. You know, I think it's really cool. While you are very credible, a million dollars for 5%, that just doesn't excite me. So unfortunately, I'll be a customer, but I'm out. Yeah, Woody, I think uh, fantastic idea. If it was really early, I'd take a flyer on it because you never know. I don't think consumers will pay for it. I think if it was a feature I got with something else, absolutely immersive, I would use it. So I think where you are at this stage, just not for me, I'm out. Okay, thanks, Rob. So you said that the annual fee was how much again? 36 for one year and $70 for three years. And do you know years. what your customer acquisition cost is yet? The average since launch is $38, um, but in the most recent month, it was under 10. We're starting to get more and more word of mouth. We won the Webby Award for best travel app. So you so think you can hold it down at 10? Yeah, $9 and change. You know, I gotta tell you, I thought it was insane when you walked in here, but um, you're very credible. There's no question about it. It's intriguing. I like it. I'm gonna give you the million bucks, but I want 15%. Wow. Oh, here's something else, Woody. Anything to do with money, any bank building, any Federal Reserve, I'll narrate it. <laughs> I mean, look, I have millions of followers. Tell me, so, you know, you, you have followers. That's obviously great for adding subscribers. Are there other places where you see that you add value? Yeah, there is. Everybody returns my calls. Everybody. You tell me what door you need open, and I'll make it happen. I appreciate the offer. I am willing to go up as high as 6.5% for that Ooh. million dollars. But 15 is uh, that's, that's way too high. I'll do it at 12. <laughs> Seven. It's gotta be 10 or it can happen. I can't go above seven. Why? That's the math. How about this? I, I'm seven, already giving seven you- Seven plus 3% um, advisory shares. Those, were, those are gonna be advisory shares. That's how I'm gonna get above the five is to give you advisory shares. Well, get me to 10, we're done. I can't, get you at the, I can't get you at that price. Kevin, you're throwing all his investors under the bus. I'm Mr. Wonderful. <laughs> you're already getting a huge discount. You're gonna be in at a much better price than those folks. It's not my fault that the cap table is the way it is, okay? Yep. I was willing, you know, to do it at 15, and you talked me down, you beat me down to 10%. I want you to be excited about this and be happy to jump well, I, in the mission. I am, if you and tell me done at 10%, I'm very excited. I'm sorry, can't do 10%. Oh, uh, Woody. Good for you, Woody, for sticking Great to your job, guns. Woody. Thank you, I appreciate yeah. it. Good luck, Woody. Good luck, Woody. Good luck, Woody. Good luck, Woody. Thank you. We couldn't quite make it work with Mr. Wonderful. Not an easy decision, but I think it was the right one for our company and its future success.